77 years ago, James Burlow Lansing, an audio engineer, sought to reinvent the audio experience. And from there, JBL was born. Today, alongside Infinity, itself a 55-year-old loudspeaker brand, are under one exclusive Philippine distributor. In an age of an increasingly digitized car experience, JBL and Infinity cling to tradition. Tradition driven by an engineering-first mindset and unparalleled craftsmanship, while also keeping focus towards the future. We're here at Tim's Audio Garage in Santa Mesa Heights in Quezon City to find out what JBL and Infinity have to offer and what makes them a legendary name when it comes to an in-car listening experience. These two vehicles may look relatively stock from the outside and in, but these sports cars are fitted with JBL and Infinity sound systems. And yes, they happen to fit in with their characters very well. Joining me here is Tim to talk about what sets these two systems apart. And as an expert in the car audio experience, he'll also take you through some things you can consider when you decide to upgrade your very own sound system. So Tim, can you tell us more about the story of uh, Tim's Audio Garage? Okay, Tim's Audio Garage started as a house garage ramen. It's a hobby of mine. Um, we start kami with, uh, with two friends and then mga kotse namin. Gusto namin sumali sa competition. Kinagawa namin in the, in the house garage. We did like uh, extreme installations up to the point na kailangan namin magtanggal ng mga windshield just to install speakers, mga ganyan. And then, nanalo, nananalo na kami that time. And then the results were very good. Tapos may mga other friends na lumalapit. Gusto ko rin ng ganyang sound. Gusto ko rin ng a realistic sounding experience sa loob ng kotse. Mga hi-fi systems. Doon nag dumami, nag-multiply na sila. And then, siguro mga around, just around 2-3 years, kuha ko tong pwesto as a rental. Nalipat sa akin ng friend ko. It was an opportunity na nakita ko na, Ay, I have a better garage and I can work freely, better, na mas maluwag. Kasi I do the installations myself. Mm. When I started, ako lang. There's no helper or any, anybody else. I do the fiberglassing, I do the woodworks, I do the wiring, the installations, and then tuning. Yeah, it was quite interesting because when when we entered this street, there's not even any any sort of signs that would say Tim's Audio Garage, right? So you would you you were saying that earlier that it's more of a personalized experience when it comes to audio installation, yeah. right? The reason kung bakit hindi pa ako naglagay ng mga signage or whatsoever dyan is most of my clients are referrals sa mga other friends ko that when we started. And then dumami lang talaga sila. When I had my Facebook page started, may mga inquiries ako na nakukuha from there. And then pag tumadaan sila dito, they try to come over, hinahanap nga nila ako. Ang maganda lang dito is I filter out all those people na talagang they know what I already am doing. So alam na nila that they really wanted the service that I offer na it's very personalized that ako mismo ang nag-install also. That's why does this garage na well lit, na air conditioned because when I start to work and I get that yung yung drive ko and uh, ano the tuloy-tuloy siya. Hindi ko siya maitigas hanggang makuha ko yung gusto ko. It's perfect na kasi at least you were able to merge together a business and your passion for, for car audio, di ba? Yeah. So, well, my next question would be, if I were to, let's say, talk to you, like, Tim, I want to upgrade my sound system. Uh, how, do you, how would I go about it? Well, the first question that I would be asking you is, what vehicle ang gusto mong i-upgrade yung sounds? And what are the needs na kailangan mo? Like, uh, do you want to upgrade your sound system because you want to have a loud and clear na system? Or do you want to have uh, a realistic uh, live performance experience sa ng kotse mo? So that I can address your needs and listening preference. Mm -hmm. And then I would find the products that would suit your needs and preferences. We tailor fit the system to the liking and the desires of clients natin. I think you mentioned it quite well that there are different preferences when it comes to yeah. the sound experience, right? So, when it comes to this, how would that say JBL differ from Infinity? JBL systems can offer you like uh, more enjoyable drives. Nakakapag 
nakapatunog pa rin tayo, nakapagpa, nakikinig tayo ng mga music na a little bit louder than usual, something that can add to yung mood natin. So JBL is perfect for that. Mm. And as for the Infinity Systems, if you want more transparency, details, clarity, mas hinahanap ko yung mga smaller details in what you are listening to. You're not actually just listening to the music, but you're listening to the sound that comes with the music. So magiging mas meticulous tayo sa mga maliliit na naririnig natin. And Infinity, lumalabas yung mga smaller details na yun. I think it's a perfect segue. Now we'll have to take a look at the two vehicles that you mentioned right here at your shop. Yeah. I guess, uh, Tim, let's go first with your earlier install, I believe, and this is the GT86, right? Yes. So yeah, let's, let's take a look. On this GT86, mm -hmm. kung mo, the interior is uh, quite small, but we do have the OEM locations na magandang mga lalagyan ng speakers. Like, uh, we can put a three-way system on mm -hmm. OEM locations so, para we, we can keep the OEM look of the vehicle. Ang maganda sa mga JBL and, 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 and Infinity Systems is they have small footprint amplifiers that we can easily fit into different vehicles, different types of vehicles, different types of installations. Dito makikita natin, since hindi tayo makapaglagay ng full-size sub, masyado siyang magiging masikip for this small trunk. We use the JBL Base Pro Hub, which is an active powered subwoofer that fits into the spare tire of a vehicle. And then for the amplifier, makikita natin dito sa ilalim that we made a custom mount for it. Wala nakakain ngayon na extra trunk space. So, magagamit pa rin niya yung small trunk niya without yung, with the better sound system without compromising the trunk space and I believe the cargo Tim, space yeah I yeah. also believe Tim that you mentioned that these use yung mga factory installation points so wala kayong dinagdag or dinrail na na items dito sa car yes as much as possible we do that in our garage hindi uh, as much as possible hindi kami nagdadagdag ng mga holes hindi kami nagmodify ng mga original panels we only make our own panels to fit the vehicles. Halimbawa lang, in the future, uh, gusto natin tanggalin yung system, ilipat sa different car. Pag tinanggal natin yan, oh, yung buong kotse, balik to stock siya. As in, perfectly back to stock siya. So Tim, I noticed that um, going inside the 86, medyo masikip ng interior, no? I mean, it's a sports car. So given that, what sort of JBL speakers did you install in this vehicle? We installed here the top-of-the-line JBL stadium speakers. At uh, the three-way set because mm. we can easily mount it on OEM locations and perfect yung mga products with JBL for these types of installations. Uh, the door speakers, pasok na pasok yung uh, six and a half inch uh, speakers. And then as for the dashboard, the tweeter, ang maganda sa tweeter ng JBL is small enough to fit OEM mountings also. Mm. So, halos parang plug and play na yung dating sa kanya pagdating sa installation. The mid-range, they have the 2-inch uh, mid-range, which is, uh, could be added into a two-way system ni JBL Stadium. It's also a stadium mid-range. JBL made it very easy for us installers to do that. Also, I noticed that you changed the head unit uh, in this car, no? It's, yes. It looks like an uh, aftermarket upgrade na lang din. Mm -mm. So if I were to look at um, the role of the JBL sound system in this case, how should I upgrade things? Should I go head unit first? Should I go speakers first? Or something like that? Is there a particular formula that I should be looking at? Well, uh, in our garage, we always uh, do it uh, in a way that we start with the head. Mm -hmm. We start with the input. It's either you start with the input or you start with the output. Mm -hmm. uh, you can start from the top or the bottom and then you work yourself in inward. Why do we need to have a good uh, head unit? Because all the digital processing from our digital phones, yung mga digital files natin, yan ang first step of processing. So you want the signals na maging malinis and maganda. So that when we install these uh, JBL speakers, maganda rin yung kalalabasan. The speakers can only work as good as how the signals na binibigay natin sa kanya is kung gaano kalinis and kung gaano kaganda. Uh, so I see, so like things like a head unit and speakers so would be the first to go if you want mm -hmm. to upgrade your sound experience. And then you can work your way, siguro last na would be an amplifier. 
uh, an amplifier and a subwoofer. And a subwoofer. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yung subwoofer kasi is very uh, very important uh, part of the an audio experience. Also, it can add ambience. For example, ito, this is a very small car. Uh, with a subwoofer, mad bibigyan natin ng feel na parang malaki yung cabin ng kotse. What we did, uh, we used the Infinity na under seat active subwoofer. Mm -hmm. And then we mounted it dito sa my spare tire area so that it won't take any space in inside the cabin since wala tayong mapaglalagyan sa ilalim ng upuan most sports, sports car ganun mababa yung upuan dikit sa floor hindi natin malalagyan ng amplifiers or uh, under seat subwoofers also the trunk is the same as the old GT86 mahirap maglagay ng mga subwoofers dito uh, dito ang ginawa natin is we put in the JBL under seat subwoofer pero gumawa tayo ng mount that fits the spare tire. Ah. And then the concept of this is the same as the JBL Base Pro Hub. It's down firing, firing towards the body of the vehicle, which helps add to the lower frequency. Ginagamit natin yung body of the vehicle to add that little more extension ng mga low frequencies. Yeah, Ngayon, pwede na tayong maglagay dito ng mga like uh, small cabin luggages. Oh, I think pati golf club yata kakashi. Yeah, na. I did already try the reason kung bakit din ganito siya because naglalagay dito ng golf clubs. Yung amplifier dito hindi mo makikita. Oo oh, nga eh, galing nga eh. Uh, we is try it, to make is it, it... Is it supposed to be inside the trunk also? Yes, we did put it in, inside the trunk also. And uh, kung mapansin mo, hindi mo siya nakikita dito. Oh, wala try mo hanapin. I was trying to look do the installation earlier and it was on top. But for this one, wala siya. Ah, wala, wala siya dito. Oh. We made a mount dito for the amplifier. And press fitted lang siya. Inihila mo lang to dito. Ah. May kita mo na yung amplifier. And the crossover that came with the Infinity Kappa Perfect Speakers. We used the... Uh, Dito namin nilagay, since large yung mga passive crossover niya, we did make a mount for the crossover and the amplifier. Same as the GT86, accessible yung mga controls so that when we need to do some minor tuning, mabilis, mag magta-troubleshoot tayo sa mga wirings, mabilis lang din. Yeah, napansin ko, Tim, the way you did the wiring, it's ang leanness din, you know? Is there a reason why you guys do that sort of wiring? Yes, uh, the way we do wirings here at Tim's Audio Garage is we try to make it as easy as possible for us to troubleshoot if we need to do some troubleshooting. And gusto namin na from your eyes pa lang, tinitingnan mo pa lang, kaya mo na i-trace yung buong wiring. Tim, so with the GR86, again, it looks like a very OE setup, right? So what sort of Infinity speakers did you install in here? Here, we installed the Infinity, the top tier, Infinity Kappa Perfect. It's a really nice sounding speaker system. It's a uh, installed here in the this GR86. It's a two-way mm. Infinity Kappa Perfect, and for the amplifier, it's also an Infinity Kappa amplifier. It's powerful and enough to drive these speakers. Naganda to monog, enough to bring out the details and the transparency of these speakers. You mentioned earlier that you have a rule of thirds when it comes to audio installation, right? Yes, so can you tell us more about it? Yeah, our, in terms of the garage, our rule of thirds is equipment, installation, and tuning. Your equipment is only as good as how it is installed and tuned accordingly. So your equipment not necessarily have to be very expensive, but it can perform. And then we install it as much as possible now maximize natin yung gamit. We do have lots of uh, installation techniques that we use here in Tim's Audio Garage. Usually not shown on the photos sa mga <laughs> page natin. Um, this is to maximize the potential of the speakers. And then we tune according to how the speaker can perform and how we installed it also. So speaking about the speaker system, if I were to like consult you, um, what sort of buyer would go for, let's say, a JBL sound system? And who would go for the Infinity sound system? I think the JBL would fit mostly yung mga younger mm. people. Okay. Mga younger people that uh, likes to go partying. Uh, mas bagay siya sa mga ganun eh. Because JBL systems are more energetic sounding and dynamic. So perfect for these types of uh, 
lalo yung mga bagong music ngayon, electronic na, puro, yeah, fi- ga- oh, okay. mga ganyan. The Infinity naman is perfect for those who want more finer details in sound. Uh, like I said, transparency and details. Litaw na litaw siya with the Infinity systems. Mas bagay ito sa mga nakaka, mas nakakaintindi na how to listen to the the details, the clarity, the naturalness, uh, atmosphere, you want space. Yan, nakaka, ma, ma, mahihimay mo na siya with the Infinity systems. So I guess Tim, ang, ang, any final words you'd like to say? Maybe invite people to Tim's Audio Garage? Uh, yeah. Um, Tim's Audio Garage, if you, uh, we do offer a wide range of car audio products and services. If you have any inquiries, you can go to our Facebook page or our Instagram page. It's Tim's Audio Garage, one straight word lang siya. Our address is at number 10 Pau Street, Barangay St. Peter, Santa Mesa Heights, Quezon City. As more and more of our day is spent in traffic, it's about time to appreciate great music on the road. Not only can it make your daily commute less stressful, but it can also leave you more refreshed when you reach your destination. To learn more about JBL and Infinity Sound Systems, follow them through their official Facebook and Instagram pages. <music>